name is uh, Simbesa Chokon. I work for Puerto Home of Peace. Puerto Home of Peace is a rehabilitation center for street boys. We rescue boys from the streets of Nairobi, rehabilitate them and then uh, reintegrate them back to, to the society. Our program goes for two years and three months. Basically we have two centers. We have the drop -in, where when we rescue the boys, we check them. That is in Madaraka and the main center that is in Roy. We say reintegration is a process and um, we start our reintegration, uh, I mean uh, this is a process and we start the reunion at the time when uh, we see the, the boy in the street. That is how we start the reintegration process. Because when we go to the streets to rescue the boys, we like first of all build a rapport with the boy. Now we'll get more to know more about the boy. Now we start figuring if this boy is, is this boy from uh, Nairobi, have they come from half country like in uh, maybe a Dorette, whatever, whatever part of the country. Because some of them don't belong to in Nairobi. No many of them come from different slums in Nairobi. Now when we take this boy to the center, um, according to the boy, we, we have the case starting with the case sort of where this boy, according to the boy, I come from this place and this place. And then we also get the same information from me that why did you go to the street? So we try to like see the underlying issues. Then after one month, when the boy is all in the first three months, when the boy is in the street, we want to ensure that um, we do our home tracing for the boy. That is now uh, we are starting a, a reunion for the parents. So that our idea is to have basically have a, a successful integration. So the boy might uh, help us trace the, the family or if the child cannot remember the place where we can because some of these boys have been to schools we can remember a school a church or a a, a tips camp or something so we use the boys to, to to maybe to get their to trace their homes now when we get to the home we have the fashion that the boy has there's also the fashion that the mother has as to where the boy went to the street our main agenda is to bring a uh, unity between the two parties. We want to, because we believe every child belongs to our family. And the best place for a child is in the family. So, because the best place for a child is in the family, we listen to um, uh, the parents' story, or the guardian, or what is all about that, uh, why did the child go to the street. Then from there, um, maybe we can compare the stories. We also need to commit the parents, because remember we want to have a success in the Commit the parent, they know that they have, they have their, their child, right? the child is in our program, and the program goes for like this month. It will also depend on the willingness of the parent. Is the parent ready uh, or prepared that we are going to stay with their child? It might be sometimes we find that the boy okay, got lost because of one, two, three issues, and when uh, maybe we take the boy for home tracing, we realize that it's like the parents were waiting for that day to see the son. So some of the parents receive their sons very well, and uh, if the child is not under any influence of drugs or has not stayed in the street for long, we can maybe do a highly recommendation. If the parent is willing and if the child is willing, and if we have analyzed that maybe the child will not go back to the street. Second, so that we can have a successful education, we have committed the parent. We hold parents meeting, we are concerned they come, they come, become partners with us. All through the two years, every time the parent will visit the child. We will also want to see the relationship between the parent and the child. Because we realize that some of the issues that lead this boy to go to the street comes from the family. The parents, maybe it can make the cases that uh, happen in the house society. The high rate of uh, unemployment, uh, single mothers. Um, I think uh, sometimes um, uh, immorality, you see. But uh, basically, we have uh, successful stories. We have uh, our boys who are in uh, uh, KU, uh, Kenyatta University, others in different departments like Strathmore, and others are working, social workers, in different uh, grounds. Yeah. We have so many who are like, because like every year we will enable at least 20 boys to the family. I'm talking of the successful. We have forget the, the, we get the county government. I say we can't uh, live with that because um, when we rescue this boy from the street, we also need to like uh, documentation. We need for, like uh, the, the community orders and to, for for the boys. Eh? Then we also work on the government. You see, like in Nairobi, 
we always uh, seek uh, or avenues on how we can work with the government of Nairobi and rescue the street children because of uh, the street boys in Nairobi. Because of our job we want to rescue 60 boys from the streets of Nairobi and the environs. So there is no way you can work for that. The dream uh, says that the um, street does not go bad, but that is very true. It simply means that uh, no one belongs to the street. Every child belongs to a family. They belong to the It's this mentality that when they are in the street, we see that they are living in another world. And the other people are living in another world. So you just want to show people that uh, it is, it is uh, not that streets does not give birth. It's no child who belongs to the street. And every child has a right to quality, right to be provided care, education, like any other child, whether in the street or anywhere. We have equal rights. Like now, we are marking this day. I think that it's a way of creating awareness. We want to show people that uh, the street, the street uh, child or the street children, they have also rights. That's why we are calling. We, are, we also call for government organization and government organization how we can team up like as in Kwetu who is ready to support the idea we also appealing to the parents that these children do not be uh, these children are not that do not belong to the street they belong to a family so the parents the government and all institutions and stakeholders to come together maybe to save the lives of these people in the street so that they can get everything you know more they have a lot of talent they are learning, they can read, and uh, we realize we are losing the leader of the we, we realize that uh, we are integrating as well because there is always a cycle. You realize uh, uh, sometimes a child can be coming from, okay, we'll come, a child will come from a family to the street. From the street, the child can go to maybe to a center. Then from the center, that child will be integrated back to the family. No, it becomes a cycle, and then the child can run again from the society back to the. Now we are trying to fight that that problem and threat. That we don't have like uh, boys hopping from one center to another. We want to make um, uh, quite a of this. When they, we, we really want to maybe improve uh, on um, the way uh, people see quite a uh, not just in the great in the town. If we realize that uh, we are realizing the child to get back to the seat, we'd rather stay with the child for a little bit uh, longer period, but not in the center. We hope to take them to boarding schools because we have two centers like I've told you. So when we take them to the main center, they start schooling alongside the rehabilitation. We don't like uh, do rehabilitation in uh, like we have to have teachers or anything. We have realized that uh, the best way you can discipline a child, and this maybe parents can get that, it is through love. If you love them, if you love me, anyway, you not do anything to hurt me. So it is in return love. So it is like a win-win situation. So um, it is to love. We give them a lot of love, and then we just we are very honest to them. You know, this is our standards. When we can't achieve, this is what we can't achieve. So even in a family, the families are not equal. Let us be true to our, our kids, uh, our, our boys and uh, our kids. And then um, after integrating them, we, when, okay, I, I said that when we think that uh, we can have a successful relationship, we take them to, to boarding schools, whereby we, uh, we see the boys stay in a longer period in school, more than, more than home. During that period, we gained our counselors, uh, social workers, and other people dealing in the family. So that by the end of the day, we can have a reunion, with the, have a, a good correlation between the, the child and the family. Because we believe every child has a family.